Hi everyone and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Play of the Day. This is Paul Lang. Today is June 3rd, 2016 and this is presented by thestockswoosh.com. Today's Play of the Day was BAC. A couple of things. Every day presents different opportunities and this trade today was only a one to one, a little better than one to one reward to risk. However, it's the type of trade I would take any day because it's not just the reward to risk, it's the likelihood of achieving it. It's the overall trade that you have to look at. And this was kind of a favorite for me today. There were two favorites. There's another one that was actually a favorite favorite for me today, but it wasn't playable at the open, so I turned to BAC. The gap on BAC, this is the daily chart you're looking at, and these daily charts, all the charts you're looking at here, are provided by eSignal. Beautiful charts. A lot of you have been asking about them. The um, daily chart of BAC gapped open today, Friday, right at that red line right there. A little different gap, not my favorite type of gap, but nevertheless interesting. You have to keep in mind there's always two groups of buyers and sellers, if you will. There's an immediate reaction that happens at the open that we're always trying to catch when it's possible, and then there's a longer term play. Based on this chart, it was the immediate reaction we're going for. What happened longer term was much more difficult to say. Several things could have happened. The chart could have fallen all day. It could have fallen for a week. But today was more like we're going to get that quick shot down in the morning because we're open and then possibly strong, stronger buying coming in. So I was looking primarily just to get this quick in the morning. A nice thing about BAC, let's go to the one-minute chart and see where it gapped. This is where it opened on the one-minute chart. You're not seeing yesterday's bar because the chart's a little too squished because of the gap. So it expanded up one-minute chart and the prior day is, is well up above there. It, it, it went red. It went green for a bar. It went red. Because of that confusion and because of the type of gap that it was, I didn't want to be too aggressive shorting it. So it wasn't until it broke and came back. And right in that topping tail there is where I got short. A nice thing about BAC also is that it's a very tradable stock, which is something you always have to consider. No matter how good the gap is, if it's more difficult to get shares, which is not usually the case, but can be the case. BAC had a fairly tight stop, 11 cents. Normally you can get it tighter than that, but first thing in the morning it's tough. So it was a risk of $990. And that stop was uh, you know, bigger than it needed to be. It was a very safe stop. So it's another reason I like to play as a very high odds type of thing to get that drop. And you can see, as predicted, it had a very, very quick drop first thing in the morning. Over the next 10 to 15 minutes it, it, it fell. Targets taken at 1323 and 1326, which is really a pretty nice job because that was really that morning low that occurred right in there. It did go a little bit lower later in the morning, but it simply wasn't worth hanging on for that. That was the low of the day there at 1030. So great job on the exit. And that was the play for the day. And that's all I did on this Friday. There was not a whole lot to look at. But nevertheless, really nice play. It's not one of those super home runs that we get on some days, but that's uh, that's what I had for today. If you're interested in learning how to trade like this, the strategy is from the Golden Gap course. It's a course that we teach. If you're interested in signing up, the next class is June 11th and 12th, and there's also a special that's been going on that ends today. You can read the screen there, but there's a three-month free in the trading room and three free mentoring sessions with Melissa if you sign up by today. The class is June 11th and 12th. It's a full weekend, 9 to 5 each day. Read the screen, folks. Thanks. Until next time, this is Paul Lang. Have a great trading day.